You may have already seen this car in a different form at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals before the restoration was finished. Well, today we're going to show you the final product, and it's pretty slick. Just because a car has a limited production number doesn't necessarily mean it's cool or collectible or rare. Uh, there's been all kinds of one-off cars that really weren't anything special. But in the case of this muscle car of the week, uh, not only is it a low production number car, but it is also a super, super cool car. I mean, people would be falling over themselves to collect these even if they made five million of them. At least that's what I think. This is a 1969 Pontiac Trans Am convertible. They only made eight of these cars. Uh, and when you think of how many cars the automakers make on a daily basis. I mean, what are we talking, 10, 15 million cars a year now? And in 69, they made eight of these. And to me, what's almost more incredible is that six of them are still known to exist. The seventh one is on the radar screen. And there's a possibility the eighth one exists too. We, we're not really sure. At any rate, this is one of the coolest muscle cars ever built. Uh, for a whole bunch of reasons, and that's why we picked it as this week's car. The Trans Am model is a high-performance version of the Pontiac Firebird. The Firebird, of course, came out in 67, along with the Chevrolet Camaro on the F-body platform. And the Camaro had a sportier SS and Z28 version starting right away in 67, but the Pontiac uh, didn't have its really full tilt version until 69 with the 69 Trans Am. It's named after the Trans Am Racing Series, and just looking at this car, you can tell that there's a lot going on. Uh, I think the Firebird is a little more uh, racier looking than the Camaro because of the chrome center grille and kind of the aggressive longer nose. Uh, but the Trans Am package adds even more styling features. The neat thing about these 69 Trans Ams is this is a functional Ram Air hood. And this is a real one. It's a steel one. Uh, to try and find an original steel hood like this, it's a lot of money these days. But inside these scoops are a couple of fiberglass tubes that go into a what they call the Ram Air pan down into the uh, four barrel carburetor and into that heavy breathing Ram Air Pontiac 400. It's a neat setup. Uh, there are the side air extractors at the bottom of the fenders that are designed to pull hot air out of the engine compartment. Uh, of course, it's got a dual pedestal wing on the back that wraps around down on top of the quarter panels. Uh, and then for a performance standpoint, there are suspension upgrades with disc brakes and a bigger sway bar and special springs, uh, a quicker ratio steering box, uh, the rear end ratio, uh, rear sway bar, uh, rear performance springs and shocks, and then the power plant being a Ram Air 3 Pontiac 400. Uh, and of course, you had an option to be either a four speed or an automatic. And the other distinguishing thing of the Trans Am is that they're all white with this Liberty Blue accent package of stripes and a blue tail panel. Uh, and of course the blue interior with the wood grain trim. This car is truly kind of a movie star. I mean, not to say that it ever appeared on screen, but it is one of the most famous muscle car designs out there. And it's legendary because they only made eight of them. And it was a really, really special experience to see six of the eight of these on display at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals in Chicago a couple years ago. One of the favorite things I like is we have two of them here that have blue convertible tops. They may do, I don't know, two or three that had blue tops. Um, they built four four-speeds, four automatics. They're all the same engine, all Ram Air 3s. There were no Ram Air 4 convertibles. Some have power windows, some don't. Some were, I think three or four of them were invoiced through Canadian. They went to Canada. Really? Like through the Canadian, the, the PHS paperwork is Canadian. This is one of those cars that, you know, more 69 Trans Am convertibles exist today than were ever made new because people have cloned them and made tribute cars and, and whatnot. I think outside of a legitimate event like the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals or maybe a museum, uh, chances are if you see one of these things, it's not a real one. Uh, the one you're looking at here today is definitely a real deal, legitimate car. It's just been restored, 
And in fact, it was on display at the Muscle Car and Corvette Nationals during its restoration, and it has a really cool story. Got one back here under restoration. That was bought from the original owner in San Francisco probably five years ago. He was, I believe, a advertising executive for Pontiac, and he didn't even know he had ordered the car. He didn't order the car. They called him and said his car was ready, and it turns out John DeLorean ordered it for him and didn't tell him about it. So, and he had it all these years, and we got it from him probably five years ago, and it's, and it's a full boat, loaded, neat car. It's a little bit nicer than new, if you look at the paint quality, the fit and finish on the tail panel and everything else, but it is basically a perfect example of one of the rarest and coolest muscle cars ever. And it's amazing, again, to think that there are more than one of these in the Brothers collection. These 69 Trans Ams are just such cool cars. And you can see more of this one on our website at musclecaroftheweek.com and on the Facebook page. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because you'll see all of the videos we've ever done on Muscle Car of the Week. And they'll alert you when the new ones come out.